It is a growing crisis. Emergency workers in New Hampshire tell us they've never seen so many drug overdoses. And for one dad, it's personal. He lost his daughter to an overdose. Last night, the president told Courtney's story to the country. WBZ's Jordan Jagelenzer spoke with Courtney's dad about what that meant to him. Joining us tonight is a father named Doug from Newton, New Hampshire. He wrote Jill, my wife, a letter, and me as well about his courageous daughter, Courtney. During President Biden's State of the Union address, Doug Griffin sat in the crowd while his daughter Courtney's story was told. I heard the president say Courtney's name. Good stuff. She was just 20 years old when she overdosed on fentanyl. A guest of the First Lady, Griffin caught up with WBZ while at the airport on his way back home to Newton, New Hampshire. And we thought we'd have time to get her treatment, and get her get her some help, and then fentanyl came along, and it's just too late. He hopes the president's attention to the issue will bring more resources to people like his daughter who suffer from addiction. And I honestly believe that if I uh, had known then what I know now, I could have saved her life. This as New Hampshire first responders deal with the crisis firsthand. A Manchester in a 36-hour period at the beginning of the week had seven overdose fatalities. Nashua Assistant Fire Chief William Atkinson has been a firefighter since 1993. He tells WBZ he's seeing more overdoses than ever. When everyone's stuck inside, uh, we saw a significant uptick in COVID, both in the overdoses and on fatalities, uh, and that was statewide. Nashua saw 41 overdose deaths last year, Manchester 72. And with the government, was little money, I think we can make changes. Griffin hopes by sharing his story and with the president's push, those numbers can go down. Fentanyl is killing more than 70,000 Americans a year. I want her to be defined by the celebration of her life and the difference she's making. You know, in other people. Now, anyone seeking treatment or who just has a question and may want to help a loved one can call 211 for more resources. In Nashua, Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News.